Oh, there we go. Whoo. Whoo wee. Oh, Nelly. What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Sound Attack once again, and guess what? We have an awesome gaming PC, a pre-built one, and this is my first pre-built gaming PC to ever review. Zotac sent it over in full disclosure. I do not get to keep it, and I can provide my own unbiased opinion on what I think of this machine. So you guys know I do a lot of custom loops, do a lot of custom builds. I'll let you guys know what I think of the build quality, probably in this video and all of that as part of the unboxing. And then make sure you hit that sub and that notification bell to come back for the benchmarks. This is once again, the Zotac Gaming Plus Mech Ultra. This is how it comes from Zotac. I don't know if this is, I don't think this is how it comes from maybe another retailer, I don't know. But you can see the Zotac branding, of course, on the box there. And then getting it opened up. I don't even know how to get this out. This is an end. All right, let's go this way. Okay. Okay, then we're gonna flip one more time. One more time. <laughs> almost got it, almost got it. Almost got it. Yeah, I have a piano over there. Holy smokes, the packaging is massive. So I'm gonna say that most likely, you know, in all likelihood, it's been packaged pretty well. Going into the top here. Oh, it's kind of difficult to do. But let's get some uh, goodness here. You have accessories. And let's see what's in the accessories box. You're gonna have a power cable, which is uh, interesting format in the plug there. It includes a Wi-Fi antenna. Looks like there's not actually a CD in here, just the manual. Yep, maybe some coupons and stuff. And then you have additional power supply cables, so that's really nice. They actually provide you with additional. They don't just uh, send it to you and then expect you to fend for yourself, figuring out what GPU you need to order, or <laughs> power supply you need to order cables for. Looks like we got another big piece here. This says it is the clear vein panel. Okay, so this is gonna be the side panel. They ship it in a separate box by itself, probably to reduce possibility of damage. That's awesome. But I'll hold one lip down, especially with heavy items like this. Now I'll kind of hold the other three back. Flip it up one more time. Oh, Mech Ultra for ultra heavy. Okay. Getting closer and closer to the the nitty gritty. We're gonna flip up once. Pull this top corner off. Oh, flip over one more time. So this is the first time I've ever seen one of these. Ooh, static rip. And it looks like it comes with two panels. So this is the primary panel. And then if we want, we can opt for the clear view panel here. So we would just pull this one off and then place this one on. I'm interested in the case design for that or the panel design deciding on, depending on which one they did it with. I don't wanna take the plastic off just yet. That's what you guys wanted to see, right? This is what I wanted to see. 
Okay, so this is cool. I don't know actually what AIO this is, but there's an 8700K in here. It's a Z370 motherboard. Which Z370 is this? I don't even know. I'm gonna have to actually look it up. The memory does come shipped with two sticks, so unlike Walmart, you get two sticks. And it's going to be DDR4 clocked at 3200 megahertz. And it's an eight gig stick. So there's a total in this system of 16. And I've never actually seen this all in one either, but it has some Zotac branding on it. It does seem to pick up fingerprints and grease pretty easily. It has the Zotac GPU in here, which two eight pin. I don't even know which GPU this is um, because the branding over there didn't say on the box. So we'll take a look real quick here. Okie dokie, so we have the base model for the Mech Ultra. So this is the cheapest one you can buy. I'll throw a price up on it in the corner. It's gonna have the 8700K, a Zotac Gaming GeForce RTX 2070, 16 gigabytes of DDR4, like we just saw, it is clocked at 3200 megahertz, a 240 gigabyte NVMe M.2, so faster than SATA, and a two terabyte, three and a half inch drive. Awesome for your games. You have gigabit LAN, killer AC Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth 5.0. It does have um, pretty much everything else listed, and the power supply is 1000 watt. However, Windows 10 is the home edition. So um, there you go. I think that pretty much wraps up what you get with it. Which I mean, I guess home edition is fine for game. I, I feel like you need pro for gaming. I'm gonna be honest there. I feel like these should come with Windows 10 Pro. Depending on how much it is. I, I didn't look at all of that yet. So you have an additional slot on this case for another uh, solid state drive, two and a half inch drive right here. And then you still have a board that does support Crossfire and SLI, which means if we did get the RTX 2080 or the RTX uh, 2080 Ti, we would have plenty of room to Crossfire or SLI for those or NV Link. However, this one, uh, of course, since it's the 2070, doesn't actually have an NV Link bridge, unfortunately. So you'll have to get into the 2080 to get into that. And the cable management is done very nicely. Finally, yes, which is amazing. Up here in the front, you do have a fan grill uh, or a dust filter right here. I don't know if there's also one on the other side, or it looks like a fan grill that's supposed to act as a dust filter. I am not gonna take that apart right now. Well, yeah, I'd have to look into that. So let's take the back side off now. So the back panel's off now. As you can see, they did some really nice cable management behind this shroud, which you can take off with a couple screws. The struggle that we had with getting this off was the bottom lip here. Let me see if I can find it. And how close it is to this shroud right here. So it kind of loops in and it's really, really hard to get on and off. So. Just keep that in mind that it's there, but there we go, we were able to get it. So practice makes perfect. It was just kind of stuck right there. Okay, the power supply has an 80 plus gold marking on it. So that's freaking fantastic. You can see this isn't a two and a half inch drive uh, bay. It's actually just a controller. So keep that in mind. That doesn't act like it, but we still have one more on the front. This comes right out, covers all the cables. And then you have access to your drive bay. There's the two terabyte drive. And then underneath that, uh, there's a slot for one more drive that you can fit in there. So that's gonna pretty much cover it there. Okie dokie, so it looks like the camera over here shut off on me. I should have been addressing this one for closing out. Uh, overall, what I wanted to say is you do have a lot of input output as well as a massive ability to go ahead and customize or modify or install new parts in this system. Unlike a lot of other pre-builds, you have up to, of course, two 
uh, or up to, sorry, an additional one three and a half inch drive, which you could swap out with a converter to a two and a half inch drive. On the front, on the PSU shroud, you have an additional slot for another two and a half inch drive. You have all of the additional power supply cables that they provide you, which is amazing because not all the companies do that. So if you need to expand to yet another GPU and you wanted to run Crossfire SLI, you aren't gonna have to track down some uh, random power supply companies uh, cables so that's really really nice to see it is an 80 plus gold which is awesome as well and the overall aesthetic that's going to be on you boo the thing is is it is very gamery it does have rgb you have one single strip up in the top and i don't know that's going to be up to you performance is what we're going to take a look at next we have a single 240 millimeter or 280 millimeter no, 240 millimeter uh, radiator in the top, you know, cooling the CPU. We'll have to see what the performance is like on that. So come back for the benchmarks if you're interested in that. Make sure you hit the subscribe and notification bell. We'll be live streaming the benchmarking as well. So, you know, stop by if you see me benchmarking it. Come say hi and I'll see you there. Otherwise, I'll see you next Tuesday.